Jane King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley, Attorneys at Law. And Jane starts with the UAW strike. And uh, one report that speculates electric vehicles may get more expensive because of the strike. Well, that's right. So an analyst at Webbush Security says that electric vehicles could go up in price by three to five thousand dollars if there is a, a, a lot of the demands that the UAW is making on the part of the automakers do come true, the increase in pay and days off and things like that. So something that uh, we'll certainly continue to watch is uh, there may be an expansion of the strike tomorrow. Well, U.S. crude oil prices hit their highest mark of the year yesterday. West Texas Intermediate Crude moved almost 4% and is now above $93 a barrel. Triple A's prices in central Indiana have been around three seventy a gallon for the past month. Month. Well, Costco CEO says more younger people are signing up for memberships. CEO told CNBC that younger people, some of whom may not have started their own families, may be purchasing less merchandise than older generations. And a survey of 2,000 U.S. adults revealed that the camera rolls are flooded with group photos with friends and family. This was conducted by one poll on behalf of Mixbook, a photo book brand. And the results also revealed the average person has nearly 3,000 photos in their camera roll and would like to print out more than a third of them. Now, following a special event, respondents say they look back on those photos a little more than once a month. And stocks fell again yesterday. Interest rates and oil prices both were on the rise. So two hits to the consumer there did send stocks lower. This morning, we're pointing up about 30 points. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Uh, Jane, tell us about this other new study that shows that parents uh, yeah. worry about their children forever. <laughs> never stops. I've just kind of resigned myself to that it's going to be worrying forever. So about nine in 10 parents say they will never be done worrying about their child. This was uh, done um, from parents of uh, children up to the age of six. And they say even when their child is grown and out of the house, they'll still worry. This was conducted by Safety First. And research found that over the last six months, parents have lost close to two full days of sleep worrying about their child. <laughs> I relate. I, I worry about things that I don't even need to worry about yet. Like my oldest is seven and I'm like, I'm worried about when he's going to drive in 10 years, nine years. My oldest is yeah. 19 and I'm more worried about him now than I was when he was sure. with me. So I know that's, that's what I, I mean. And, and at every stage, there's something new to worry about. Yeah. You know, when they're little, they're sick and then they go to school and then worrying you know, about driving what you forgot to worry college. about. Yes. What did I forget? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jane, what have we done?